Something else that I have to say is that we see Sawyer, Juliet, Jin, and Miles in the three or later segments, but we don't see Daniel in the three or later segment, and that is freaking me out because Daniel Faraday is like top five lost characters material for me. Um, he said his first line in his first episode, and I pretty much <laughs> liked him more than half the people on the show just from hearing him speak, so I'm a little worried about him. Because the last time we saw him, he was not in good shape at all. He was not making any sense. He was just totally insane, basically. And I think that they made it a point not to show him for some reason, because they they do make it a point to show what each of the other people are doing in Dharma. Um, you know, how they're all part of the society, but they don't show Daniel, and I know that it's for a reason. Um, and I'm really interested to see how they're going to do that. Um... Another thing is that Jin must have learned perfect English at this point, which is really awesome. Um, and he also must be, like, best friends with Sawyer, which is so cute, and I love them. Uh, where are Rose and Bernard? Um, you know, they're not, like, my favorite characters or anything, but I, it's not like I don't care about them, I do. So I, I do want to know, like, what happened to them and where they are. Um, the big thing that everyone's talking about the episode is that we got to see the four-toed statue from behind. Um, most people assume that that's what it was, although there are a few that are like, maybe that was another statue. Whatever. I'm sure that that was supposed to be the four-toed statue. So, you know, I'm really excited about it, even though I think I'm not as interested in the four-toed statue as other people seem to be. I mean, I'm totally fascinated by it, but People like kind of want. It seems that people want to learn about that more than anything else, and that's not kind of the way that where I stand with it. But um, so it looks Egyptian from the back. The ears sort of. There's a lot of Egyptian figures in mythology that sort of look like that from behind, so it doesn't really narrow it down as much as we would like. But who knows where we're going with that at this point? Um, something else that I find really interesting is that we have all these people. We have. Jack, Kate, Sawyer, Hurley, Saeed, Jin, Miles, Juliet, Daniel, Sawyer, I don't know if I said Sawyer right, um, in 1977, and then on the other Hydra Island we have, um, Ben, Locks, uh, uh, Frank, Sun, Caesar, and Ilana, and the thing that I'm most interested in is that I literally have absolutely no idea where they're going with this story on the Hydra Island. I cannot even begin to imagine what they're gonna do with this group of characters. Like, I don't know what the story is, with what, what, what their, you know, what their storyline's gonna be, and I am so interested in not having any idea where it's going. I'm totally fascinated by that and really excited to see what happens. Um, what else do I have to say? Okay, so Horace is now with this new character, Amy, who is Michelle Dessler from 24, which is a huge throwback for me, and a delight to see someone from 24 as much loved, you know, someone uh, that I love as much as Michelle Dessler to appear on Lost. Um, she's just fantastic, and I love her. Um, but Horace being with Amy sort of makes us wonder what happened to Olivia, um, who the woman he used to be with. And Olivia, you know, she was in one episode and she was played by Samantha Mathis, who I adore, but no one else seems to remember her even though she was sort of a big deal in the mid-90s. Um, pretty sure she went out with River Phoenix for a while. Anyways. <sighs> um, so what happened to Olivia? That's one of my questions. Uh, loved the Richard Alpert Al eyeliner reference, that was really cool. Loved the Sawyer line, thanks anyway, Plato, referring to Daniel, who was just out of his mind. Um, something that I really loved was Sawyer's speech um, at the end to Horace about forgetting what Kate looks like. Because I think that some, a statement as drastic as that is completely needed t for the viewers to be able to fully grasp that it has been longer than the entire four seasons combined, you know, that these people have been in the Dharma Initiative. I think we need, you know, we need to be able to fully grasp that for it to work for us. Um, 
you know, Sawyer saying that he can't remember Kate's face must... It, it's sort of like a shocking thing to say for the people watching just because of how long they've spent together and just to hear that enough time has passed that all of that, you know, that just he can't remember what she looks like, like a clear picture in his head, I think was a really powerful statement. And uh, it was touching for the character, but it was also needed, I think, for the viewers, for us to sort of fully grasp the time jump. Um, my favorite moment in the episode was Daniel seeing Charlotte as a child. Um, it was pretty heartbreaking, actually. I worry about Daniel. Um, you know, I, I thought that the way that they did it just kind of gave it a creepy, yet, like, a very beautiful feel to it. I, it was weird, and just sort of, it just was a profoundly, prof like, depressing image seeing Julie, uh, Charlotte as a child because for some reason it, it seemed pretty true to me and seeing, like, seeing her just be that you know, young and not knowing what's gonna happen is just like, oh, it's disturbing, it's depressing, it's creepy, it's so many things. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, there are a couple of spoilery things. Um, I mean, everyone, anyone who watches Lost, I don't know if they pay attention to like the hints that were given, but, um, Supposedly a major-ish character is dying by the end of the season, and also a major, much-loved character is dying, so... Should be interesting to see who those are. I have my own theories, but I won't share them with you um, right now, so... That's pretty much it for next week, or for this week. And I'll be next week... Well, blah blah blah. I'll be back next week for um, Wednesday's episode, Namaste, episode 9. So, goodbye everyone. And I will see you, or, you know, I hope you tune in for next week's. Goodbye!